do we need a coaxial cable? Why not just normal cable? The reason is that there are many radio frequency noise meters. Um, so like the laptop, the light, and the soldering gun, and everything. Um, however, sometimes you need no low noise electronics. How do, how do you prevent your electronics to pick up those noise? We need to use the Faraday cage. Basically, it's just <coughs> a metal cage connected to the ground. So um, here is a very fancy way to show the, the usage of the Faraday cage. You have this metal um, cage here, and then uh, there is a huge um, electric electric flow there, and it will not touch the people but uh, follow the cage and go into the ground. So this is how you uh, prevent the effect from outside to something inside. So the same idea goes to the cable. If you have this uh, this braid around the inner core that is your connector, um, you can and then you connect this part to the ground you can prevent the noise get into your inner core. So this is called coaxial cable. So uh, one nail of braid can block 95% of the external interference. Um, if you improve this part, you can get the left 5% uh, also blocked with an even better uh, blocking rate, um, attenuation rate. So this tells you that basically you just do a little bit of things here, you can achieve a, a huge block here. But uh, you can see that you can improve the pro uh, the property, uh, the quality of your coaxial cable um, by changing the material here and the, the change the material inside your cable. And here is a little selection guide. We have we have seen a. Uh, those cables very often, these are the normal ones, the RG uh, cables. So for example, those RG59, RG6, RG11, they are used for um, TVs. So if you want to connect uh, some cable to your TV, normally you will, you will become those uh, factor cables. Um, however, there are good ones. That's called the LMR. Nobody knows what it stands for. However, it is, it is proven to be a much better choice for, for higher end. So if you, we just, we, we always use this on MR coaxial cable. Um, there are different types. We are, we are using this one because this is, uh, the way we choose this is based on the outer diameter. This is small, this is, this is a bigger one. And it replaces the normal ones <coughs> shown here. And then we have the cable, we have to connect it to our equipment. So we need the connectors. So here are the common connectors. So the NEMO cable is the NEMO connector is very commonly used because it is used as a front panel connector for many NIM um, module. But the F connector is very common because this is used for TV connection. And then we are going to use BNC. This is another common, uh, commonly used connector. It's shown here. This is the female side, this is the male side. <coughs> then for feed through, for the high voltage connection, high voltage cable connection, we, we have these two M high voltage and, and SI high voltage, called safe high voltage. Connector. Um, here I sh show you two pictures. This is um, M MHV and this is SHV. You can see that MHV is very similar to BNC. So actually, you can connect these two by force, by brutal force. Uh, so this is a common mistake. That's why people create this uh, safe high voltage 
connector. And you cannot mistake this one with <coughs> the PNC connector. We are going to use this to tools. Um, we cannot use this uh, common um, cable cutter because they have this flat blades. If you because the classical cable is actually much thicker than normal wires. If you just directly cut it with this type of uh, cutter, you will flatten the material in your cable. So that's not good. So you should always use this uh, coaxial cutter. So it has a round blade to uh, keep the round um, cross section of your cable. And then you need to prepare your cable, coaxial cable like this, so that you can connect it to a connector. So you need a special tool for that. This is called stripper, sometimes called pre prepare tools or stripping tools. Um, basically, it has um, multi levels of uh, blades. For example, here I show you two two levels of blades. It can they can cut into different depth of your cable, and the depth can be controlled by a screw uh, in the stripper. And then you have you may have three. Blades, or you may have two, depends on what kind of uh, connector you want to use. Um, the last one, how do you assemble your connector with your cable? Um, that is shown here. So, at first, you need to cut your cable like this with your stripper. Uh, in our case, we cut it into three uh, levels <coughs> and then put this uh, metal tube into it first. Then there will be an inner core. You should put your inner core into the connector, uh, the, the cable here first, and then use a crimper to crimp to crimp uh, the inner core, uh, the, this uh, this part to the inner part of the cable. And then you put up this part, the body, and then you should uh, let the the braid part, you put your braid part into the, the tail of the body and then uh, put this part in and then grip it, it again. So you need to grip it twice. So we have all the tools here. We have the coaxial cable. several times and, and tune it. Once you tune it to a special uh, depth, you can use it forever. Okay, that's it.